Hi, I'm John and this is another update on my Commodore 64 character based operating system. Um, I'm a bit overwhelmed by the response I got from uh, the last video and I want to thank everybody for um, all the nice comments and uh, suggestions. Um, I want to stress that this is um, a hobby project uh, and uh, something I do in the evenings and weekends uh, besides a full-time job and everything else so um, uh, be patient I hope you can and um, I'll try to make these videos uh, regularly so you can follow the progress of the project so uh, let's uh, just uh, start it up and uh, let's have a look at what's changed so I added a little uh, sound in the opening there so it's possible for me to even add sound effects and stuff like that you know the, the, the stuff that you likely turn off uh, after fiddling with it for one hour <laughs> But still, um, it's uh, always fun to make all these uh, things uh, part of it. So you notice a couple of changes, like the clock here is blinking, and now there is a sprite down here that responds to hover instead of the um, of the um, character-based thing. Um, so another thing, of course, that's changed is the desktop now has a color and a texture so you can now uh, control these things uh, for the system and what I have been working a lot on uh, this past week when I had the chance is uh, uh, to improve on the control system and uh, it's now soon enabling me to more quickly create new controls and so I just recently made one uh, didn't take a long time when the framework around it, it was in place. Here you can control the system information. And uh, I've uh, added a spinner control, so it's uh, you can just click on uh, this and then drag it to adjust. So, so we can set it to the time that's now, 39, let's see. Now I can keep track of how long this video is. <laughs> I'm trying to keep them around 10 minutes so I don't bore you to death with uh, details. So these three have a color inside them and uh, the color is somewhat bugged now because if you change it you can you can modify the color of the background here now live uh, but it doesn't reflect until you hover and move out again. So I have a small change that I need to do there. So, so you can try all the different colors. Oh. Yeah, so I kind of like the dark blue one because it's like uh, doesn't uh, take too much attention. And you can also change the pattern. So I've created a few patterns that are just included uh, in this uh, system application that I change between. And it just copies over one character, so it's very simple to make new ones. Uh, and uh, I probably want to make it so that you can uh, add your own character uh, if you want. And maybe in the future, more, more advanced backgrounds. We'll see about that. But anyway. Um, let's go with that one. You can also change the color of the mouse. So colors again. <laughs> and of course you can, uh, okay, I'd kind of like the white one actually. I think, oh, I have a wrapping bug here so as well. It jumps around when <laughs> I go too fast. And uh, you can also, uh, someone in comments mentioned that he liked uh, the old mouse pointer, so here it is. You can change it back if you want. So I have the ability to have different mouse pointers. And likely also I will make it so that you can put any sprite as being your mouse pointer. And uh, you can also change the color of the focus uh, window, for example. So let's make that uh, light blue. 
So now if I click them back, you can see that uh, the focused window is light blue instead of the cyan color. And it's also reflected down here on this uh, on the <coughs> taskbar. And you can also control the autofocus one so we can make it a darker gray instead. So it even goes more away like that. Well, so that's one of the things uh, I've been working on. Um, but uh, I've also been working on a new graphics mode that applications can use. And uh, in order to use that, uh, I can um, uh, demonstrate. Uh, uh, I can demonstrate a um, game that I made because um, the most important thing about Windows, you know, that's to play Minesweeper, right? That's what everybody used it for. So I went ahead and coded the game Minesweeper uh, for the system. And oh, <laughs> I clicked the bomb on the first one. That's a good hit, yeah. So that's the typical ones. You always click a lot around and then you try to clear as much as you can immediately. So if you look at this, you will see that each character can have a different color. Uh, normally uh, applications like this, uh, this here has a solid color in the background. So also if I, um, the system one had... Uh, a light red one that I used as background. So that usually works well with a lot of applications and um, for for example a SID player has also a colored area here now and this is because uh, controls can have their own color so you can actually color or add a lot of color to your application just by making panels and uh, buttons and things uh, labels with background colors so that sort of simplifies the coloring of an application but sometimes you want to have more like um, um, this minesweeper game where i wanted to have different colors per character so <clears throat> so this is very simple it uh, enables you to just uh, pass uh, an array of uh, color indexes per character and uh, I also made it much simpler for applications to draw any character from the custom characters because when you install these characters they can end up anywhere in the character set where there is room for them so uh, now it's uh, much simpler to to use them and uh, and and draw uh, stuff like uh, the label up here where you can have the flag a custom character in front of it so um, well, so that's uh, what I've been working on uh, lately, and um, um, if you have any questions, you can uh, put them in the comments below, and uh, I'll uh, see you around uh, uh, next week, perhaps one week from now, uh, with some new updates. Goodbye.